Hi and welcome to Mark's Motivational Podcast for another Authors Tuesday. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by by uh, Bernie Bernadette O'Reilly today um, on the podcast live from the Oilac Library. Uh, it's great to do a live one uh, for once. It's yes, it's <laughs> great. Get away from Zoom for a while. Even though we're yeah. recording this on Zoom, but we're live today. It's very kind of you to accommodate me, but since yeah. I can't use Zoom. Yeah, no, it's great. So, um, thanks, really. thanks, William, for for joining me on the podcast Thank today. You for inviting me, I'm yeah. delighted to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, you want to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself? Um, uh, what kind of writing you do yourself, Bernie? Would be brilliant. Mm-hmm. Well, I mostly do short form. Uh, when I say you know, short form, maybe eight, nine, ten lines, maybe yeah. a bit more. But I also do what's called haiku and senru, which I'm sure your listeners are familiar with. Yeah. More senru because I grew up in a suburb and I'm not, uh, I, I find it hard to name different flowers and birds. And okay. I yeah. can name a certain food that would have been in our back garden in mm-hmm. Phoebus. Yeah. yeah. Although a haiku friend of mine informed me that I should look up nature on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I asked her what flowers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But how and ever, I'm actually more a people observer. So senru suits my. Mm. When I first started writing, early 80s, really. Yeah. Um, my, my writing was more like letters. Okay, yeah. But I kept at it, even though I, I suppose the back of mine on you did never be published because mm. they were too long and rambling. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. But eventually this short mm. form emerged and I found that people seemed to like it. Yeah. Around that time, uh, this would have been about the 90s by then, mm-hmm. and the internet had started to come in. Yeah. And my, I hadn't heard of it now, I'll be honest, but mm. my younger brother yeah. came into the house at the time with a computer. Mm. And of course, he couldn't wait to show me all uh, the stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I was just fascinated. But he, he went to, I couldn't learn from him really at first because he went too fast for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he yeah, was young. Yeah. He's, he's uh, 14 years younger than me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so anyway, eventually I got... Um, my own computer because I don't I might know how to work some stuff. Yeah. I, I'm always fascinated by gadgets, and yeah, so of yeah. course, I had to have a computer, not yeah. one. Mm-hmm. And my brother very kindly showed me how to set it up. Right. And, yeah. and the first one thing he said to me, I've never forgotten it. He said, first thing to learn is he said, Google's your friend, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was, how could she be your friend? Anyway, he was so right because it gets you into everything, you know. Every, and he yeah, also yeah. told me, he said, with emails, he said, which he set up an email and everything from me. Right, he said, yeah. Remember, he said, don't open emails you don't know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that was, that was priceless information. Big, because, exactly, yeah. As you definitely. know, you said, yeah. what can happen? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how I started off. Right, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. I was always good at school mm. with um, what they call in my time, essays. Okay, yeah, I'm about essays around yeah. when I was going to come to yeah. school as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So some people might, you know, say, God, that's what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, that's yeah. how I learned, and I'd get stars, and I was good at spelling. But then, unfortunately, technology came in, and mm. text messaging, and my spelling is just... Yeah, that's what happens. You get late, oh, you know, no. yeah, I find that as well. Oh, yeah, no. yeah you're lo- you, you have co- <laughs> you, you have spelling correction and mm-hmm. other stuff. Yeah. And, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I know myself sometimes, I say, so I put up, a, um, I have a blog and I put up wow. poetry yeah. on the blog and afterwards they said, oh God, I spelled that wrong. Mm. And that was never like me spelling wrong. You yeah, know? I know. But yeah. I blame the text message. Not yeah. getting old. <laughs> and what's your blog? What's your blog? It's <laughs> called B-E-E, oh no, sorry, it's called burcatliz.wordpress. Dot com. Brilliant. Yeah, WordPress yeah. is great, isn't it? So oh, easy to, to make stuff if, like an that. An English yeah. friend of mine, Laura Rester, mm. she, she kept saying, she had a blog, and yeah. she kept saying to me, get on the blog, get on the blog, use WordPress, that's the easiest one Definitely, for me. Yeah. And yeah. she guided me and encouraged me, and I've never looked back. Wow, yeah. And do you post poems in, on it every so oh, yeah. often? Brilliant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great I put stuff. poems and haiku. And I, I don't, I, I consciously said, I just keep it for my work. Mm. I don't Put anything else up. Or, great idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great yeah. Idea. Now, I know people kind of shit. What would they call a reblog? Other people's stuff. Mm, yeah. People are very kind of reblog some of my poems, great, especially yeah. one particular person. Mm. But I thought, no, I don't want to get into all. Yeah. All yeah. that. So I just keep it. Nice. Yeah. And do you have one of your poems with you today? I Bernadette? do. Yes, yeah. I, I do. 
just to uh, give yeah. the listeners a listen. Okay. That's right. And yeah. I'm OCB from my phone now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people do that, but um, the, uh, the Ink Singers is great as well, isn't it? The oh, Ink the Ink Singers. Singers. Oh, but again, great. I use my phone at the Ink Singers as well. The you prompts know, are, are amazing. Come to it's great, yeah, yeah. I know they're, they're marvellous, they're so encouraging. Yeah, and brilliant. the prompts yeah. are brilliant. They're, they're great, yeah. Because I, yeah. I have a story ongoing from that prompt, and you can oh, easily have one of your stories yeah. last night. <laughs> yeah, Thank just you, yeah. to get familiar with <laughs> you. Yeah, and it was yeah, it's great. I'm, I'm John Spinman. <laughs> it's has, isn't it? He just seems to turn up and he seems to be such a laid back character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny how you keep it going, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but the, I know sometimes you use the prompts to keep your story. Yeah, going. that's great. It does, and and there's no right or wrong with the prompts, sure, it's not like no. you can. Oh, it's just I great. Where, yeah. I don't know how the, the prompts keep coming every week, but mm. they're just fantastic. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I look forward to hearing your poem. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very this much. This one is about. Um, I'm, I'm I'm going to become a great uh, a grand aunt in oh, uh, congratulations. June. That's brilliant. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. I don't know what you know. I mean, I, lo I love my nieces and nephews, but yeah. there's something. Yeah, I suppose yeah. I think you're going to live to see. Oh well, that's anyway, brilliant. Best of luck. It's whatever. called <laughs> "I Wanna Be Around." Again, in a singer's prompt. Great. Yeah. In June, a grandniece will join our family. Her paternal grandmother has bought pretty tiny dresses. Crochet blankets also wait for her arrival. Her maternal great-grandmother was a beautiful woman. Will this June rose be a beauty too? I want to be around to see her grow up. Celebrate milestones with her. I wonder, would she be a career woman or a creative? I wish the world to be a peaceful, beautiful place for her, filled with love. I want to be around. That's it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's, that's lovely. a little bit longer than usual. No, that's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed that. Yeah. So nice. Like, and then when when um your grandniece or nephew arrives, um you'll have that for them. That's that's a lovely thing. A little was, gift before they even born, huh? I was, I had <laughs> yeah. in the my my nephew and his partner's room. Mm. That does a, a a small a child's wardrobe. Yeah, and yeah. it's already filled with stuff waiting for her. Oh, lovely! It's yeah. so yeah. fascinating, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> you're never tired of to see baby clothes again. And, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> and my my sister, who'd be the grandmother, she she's at first, you know, because my nephew's young. She was, you know, worried. But uh, now yeah, she's yeah. she's on a buying mission. <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 That's great. But it's great that a baby before it's even entered the world is being so loved. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with your beautiful poem as well. Ah. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. I've and, my family are not that much into poetry. So yeah, but no, it's lovely, lovely. Thank and you. um and is is it gonna are you gonna put a book of poetry together? Have you thought about doing that yourself, Bernard? Yeah, at the moment I done um six month mentorship last year with okay. a, a lady called Mave O'Sullivan. Yeah. And she she did say to me at the beginning that I could take more than one mentorship session okay. to uh, get a collection together. Mm -hmm. So we've been working last year and again now this year, and believe it or not, I'm I'm more than halfway through the my second mentorship with her. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we kind of send out Mm. Uh, different haiku. Some get accepted, some don't. Okay, yeah, yeah. But uh, we're seeing what works and what doesn't work. And Great. she's good at editing. She's encouraging me now to learn to edit. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so if I just and she she's truthful with me. Like if a haiku doesn't work, she say that's a li that's like a list. Right. Or, yeah. you know, that's a sober haiku. Mm -hmm. And she kind of starts to apologise, but I just say, no, tell me the truth. Brilliant, yeah. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. learn. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. 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 So yeah. I trust her that she's telling me the truth. And that's very valuable. Yeah, I definitely. Feel. Yeah, very valuable because um, they say there's no such thing as um, wrong, only feedback, you know, like there's only no, no yeah. such thing as, um, you know, uh, doing things wrong, but getting feedback is is great. It's There's important. no criticism, but feedback is great, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Maybe said, maybe a few times I said, "Oh, I got that wrong," mm. she, and what you're after saying, she said, "There's no thing is wrong." Yeah, you know? it's failure. <laughs> it's only failure. Feedback, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> great stuff. Um, when did you join the the Ink Slingers? When did you join the Ink Slingers? I joined the Ink Slingers when um, oh God, it's good for years ago. The lady facilitating was called Sarah Gr Griffin. 
Okay, yeah. And yeah. at that time in the Irish Writers' Centre, there was two rooms full of people. Right, it yeah. was amazing. And even with the two rooms full, when I say that, people were sitting on the floor around the walls and in both okay. rooms. Yeah. And poor Sarah, I don't know if she did it at the <laughs> time, she was going from the two rooms to keep everyone connected. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then after that, I kind of stepped away for a while. I can't remember the reason. Maybe you felt you crowded from me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But on the next time then, there was this gentleman who was facilitating. And he uh, he done, uh, he done it for a while. I can't remember the man's name. Then I stepped away again. But in between all this, I would have been a member of various other writers' groups. Oh, well, but I found yeah. my way back mm. to Insingers and Harry and Brian then. Yeah. You know, and I, I like the way Harry facilitates. Oh, uh, great, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I thought, you know, I was, I was even thinking about that this morning. You know, I I I love my time there with the other writers' groups mm -hmm. that I was part of. Yeah. But, it seems it's more, I don't know, it was the one I think I've stayed the longest in. It's more yeah, like a home. Definitely it is, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. And even though I was away for a little while, maybe, I still come back. And one thing I absolutely love about it as well, that everybody is so encouraging, encouraging oh in it God, as well. Oh, my God, I've got emails, yeah. with poems that I talk, oh, I think that yeah. needs work, you yeah, know. Yeah. And I get, some people get back, yourself included, and yeah. say it's something nice about it. Yeah, like, exactly. That's yeah. so encouraging. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like what yeah. writers do because I think every writer is full of doubts. Exactly. Yeah. And they even like um like you know you know when you're there on a Saturday, like I haven't got, got, got to go once, but but a busy family, it's hard to make every Saturday. Very but um, you know, you get to you write off your prompt and then you read it out to the rest of the group. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great, yeah. and the feedback you get is great, it's isn't it? Is, you can see it in their face. Yeah. What I like about it is, as well, if you get a Saturday where for whatever reason you mm. might want to read, yeah. no one pushes it. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Definitely. And Brian, yeah. as you know, before the start of the reading, he always asks who wants to read. It. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So they're so facilitating. Mm -hmm. In what the writer wants, yeah, I definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's great, Bernard. And mm -hmm. as well as that, what kind of what keeps you kind of what inspires you? To the, to write um oh um music, music. my second okay. love is oh, music oh yeah me too yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, yeah yeah and that that would songs would inspire me mm -hmm. um instances both good and bad that would happen yeah. to me yeah I yeah. would write about mm -hmm. you know? and yeah. especially if something good like I I love to record mm. you know, which sometimes my haiku can be a record <laughs> of an effect rather than a haiku but yeah. I, if you work on it it's you know, what is a haiku? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not... a haiku is. Uh, can I read? Yeah, I read please. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. It, yeah, thank you. Again, you know, there's so much to learn. I don't yeah. always get it right. You know. No. And um, this one was written recently from a prompt yeah. in, a, in a writing site, an online writing site. Mountain home, a strange man knocks on her door. On the door. Her nerves break. Now, to give a little bit of background to that, it was based on the story my mum told me about my grandmother. Wow. She yeah. uh, she lived, uh, my granddad was a gardener, so mm -hmm. he went wherever the book was. And yeah. we, one, on one of their travels, they ended up on um, a mountain. Right, yeah. And yeah. it was very isolated, and she had very small babies at the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And she was on her own. And this strange man knocked at the door. Now, he didn't break in or cause harm or anything like that. He was so scared her that mm. she had a nervous breakdown afterwards. Oh, oh, yeah. It was so isolated. She missed the company, I suppose, with her women. Mm. You know, because before that, or did we see, yeah, she lived, they lived in Fox Rock and Dundalk. So mm. there would have been people. Yeah. But this place, she was totally on her own, you know? Yeah. Which wasn't, I suppose, a nice experience. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's the kind of thing that would inspire me, those stories. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe some, if I hear, overhear a conversation that interests me, I won't repeat the conversation. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't somehow think that that's right. Yeah. But I'd kind of get my own take on it. Very good, so that yeah. That could find yeah. strength for a poem or a haiku, you know? So, Brilliant, like yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. And you find when you're writing, like, the characters need to come alive, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so true because I remember uh, again, if I can say, I went to um, yeah, back in the nineties. I done a wonderful workshop, one of many actually, but mm. this particular workshop was run by um 
Tony Curtis. Okay, all right, yeah. And he was so wonderful. He tell us stories about Michael Hartley. He was a friend of his at the time. Yeah. And you know, it just made it so easy to learn from him. But mm -hmm. anyway, he had a um high uh he gave us a prompt. Right. Yeah. And it was about a ghost. Mm -hmm. And I got really into this and I I couldn't I couldn't see anyone in front of me, behind me, beside me, nothing. I could yeah. just see this ghost reaching for me. My it, was all, what, it was all my imagination. <laughs> yeah, of course. I hastened to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was so caught up in this. I was right yeah. away. And yeah, yeah. Trench, I heard Tony's voice say, and that brought me back to reality. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he said, did you re did you enjoy that? He said. <laughs> and yeah. I knew by the look on his face, he knew I did. Yeah. It was a wonderful experience. Wow, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Things like that would, mm. you know, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, because I understand exactly what you're saying. Because one of the one of the stories from one of the stories I wrote off a prompt was to do with a ghost as well. And it's, it's <sighs> gas when you stare it off something you can really you can go this really yeah. sense the character, can't you? Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. this ghost, and I could actually see the white arms reaching for me. I was, yeah. I was frightened. No, yeah, yeah. I was supposed yeah. to use my imagination, yeah. but I was then part of um. It's now the Sunflower Session, but at the time it was Seven Towers, Sarah mm. Lungbook. Yeah. And she, I used to do readings for Sarah in uh, chapters. Oh, chapters in the uh, yeah, yeah, every month, I think it was. I do a wonderful readings, mm -hmm. really rare. So I remember she was short, it was some reader couldn't turn up. And when that happened, she'd ask me or my friend, who yeah. couldn't will we step in? So we always brought stuff with us. Okay. But what, this was a Halloween reading that particular time. And she remembered I'd previously read. The ghost poem and she said to me have you got that ghost poem with you oh you right know, yes she yeah remember there was to be so many bad times at the time yeah, yeah. Great stuff, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. Lovely. no big time yeah exactly, i was yeah. amazed and fascinated yeah. someone would remember something i wrote yeah know? stands out in their memory yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly, it's yeah. i know what happens to me i remember something maybe i would remember yeah. other things but yeah you know, for someone to remember something I wrote, it was just yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, well done. That's absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I look great. forward to like when you put a um poetry book out there. Uh, look, well, we, if, when, say, that, yeah. when it happens, just send it to me and I can put it on the, oh, the show notes for oh, the thanks, for yeah. Yeah. Oh, to get, So, yeah. as you know yourself, it's so hard to get published, but oh, we're trying yeah. to yeah. get it as I said, a haiku mm, yeah. book together. So, great stuff. Yeah, God, it'll come out, yeah the best of luck with it. Yeah, and then, um, and how did you find um. The dreaded word COVID working right and through COVID. Did you find oh, that a struggle? Oh, I, I really, I, I could. It was soon. I, I don't take well to change. Okay. I'm very bad at yeah. doing that. So of course, when it came to the first week of going to the, my local supermarket, which was as far as we could go, and yeah. I ran to medical. Mm -hmm. And my sister, I, I. I can't remember. I rang her text and asked her, Would she come with me? I was so terrified. Oh, no, yes, it was yes. amazing. Well, before, and yeah. she, because I knew the system would be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I couldn't work around. So she was so good to me. She's always been good to me. She mm -hmm. she came down to uh, Dunn's in Charleston, where I live. Yeah. Uh, it was so heartbreaking, yeah. you know, to see all these corned oh, off yeah, and it's awful. the yeah. yellow tape and the screens. The and it was scary yeah. and it was. You know, and I just got what I got wanted. Then yeah. in the church was the same when I went to mass mm -hmm. when we could go afterwards, yeah. that is yeah. later on. Yeah. But again, it, it, it wasn't mm. so then I got stubborn, which I can be very stubborn. And I said, No, I'm not going to write about this horrible thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. I don't be what I call transfer right, you know, transferring from computer to baby okay. stick oh. all that. Oh, so yeah. I concentrated on that. Mm. That kept me going. Yeah. And then um, it's funny, I didn't realise I could go for a walk in the park. I thought the park was too far away. Oh. <laughs> Which it wasn't, as a turn. <laughs> Close enough, yeah. But now and then, you learn. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, quite after into COVID, this, the first time it was, I went to the supermarket on my own. I said, I can't keep depending on my sister. It's not fair. Yeah. So I went, I hired it down on my own. And for the first time, I noticed, you know, all these... Um, <clears throat> All the changes and I know it was fear in people's faces yeah, and eyes. Yeah, no, yeah. like normally in a supermarket, people stop in the middle of the eyes and have a oh, little. Sure, yeah. I missed all that. The supermarket was unnaturally quiet. Yeah, it yeah. It didn't yeah. seem. I know. People odd. fight, you know. And if you did know anyone, 
he or she be over there and you be doing the same thing. Oh, and, no, yeah, social distance and so all that, yeah. A poem, card, which I ha actually I haven't got with me, but a poem called Bubble came up and I said, no, I'm not going to write that. No. I said, no, this is so horrible, a bit. So then, I know it was other people writing about it. And it, as a writer, you know yourself, Mark, it'll keep at you till you... Yeah, definitely. So eventually, yeah. <laughs> it gets my real, <laughs> <we're laughs> <be> like, <laughs> the poem Bubble... Mm got onto the computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and after that, then, that seemed to open the floodgates of COVID poems. Well, what I'll yeah. end up doing with them, I don't know, you know. Yeah, some yeah. poems, some semi as well, you mm -hmm. know. But it, it got us to another friend of mine. Um, actually, she's an Islinger. And she um, she phoned me during COVID. She started to phone me. And she said, do you mind if I phone? I said, no. I said, and we'd have these chats every night or every week. And, mm, you know, nice, yeah, she, yeah. she'd read to me and I'd read to her. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. had this great character. And this little character was a child. But every morning at breakfast, to start me off to get through the day, I think of her little character and wow. the story that my friend had read to me about the little character. Yeah, and yeah. I've always said to her ever since, that herself and her little character, we got... We got each other through COVID. Great, isn't it? You yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah, that's a great because story. Because she was yeah. my only co was my sister <laughs> yeah. and my only contact and my other friend. But we could we couldn't see each other, you know. So yeah. 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 It was so important to have that connection. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, now I have yeah, to say, yeah, 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 and something to think about morning when you, especially if you're living alone, having your breakfast, you know, mm. you, you talks with crowd, you know, don't start the day, know, what's yeah. to live for, what's to, yeah, but then you had a friend ringing you out and talking about the story, that's great, saw, <laughs> think yeah, about yeah. your friend's character, he said, and thinking about who would get me, well, that's great, yeah, yeah. brilliant, yeah. that's a great story, thanks, yeah, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, and you might read, read it, do you have another poem you want to read, maybe I'll read one, yeah. this is, yeah. Yeah. That published collection. Oh wow! Great that um, yeah. I got published in the nineties. Oh right, yeah. And yeah. can can people get this anywhere? Or? It, yeah, unfortunately, you have to get it through me. I have some copies then. Okay, it did, yeah, yeah. Again, there was at that time I couldn't promote on the internet, and I wasn't going to. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't doing open mics at the time when I first uh, got that. So, um, I didn't promote it the way it should have been promoted. Yeah. So I have some copies left. So. Mm. You know, you've got, got to get it from me if anyone wants. Yeah, to. well, I can I can put your details on the oh, show notes for people to yeah, contact yeah, you if you want yeah, to want yeah. a copy of it. Yeah, look great. Looking forward Actually, to this. Actually, a lady called um, Antanum, she done a, a, a small review of, of of Gentle Touch, and two ladies mm -hmm. uh, got in touch with me, and they, they said, how much is it? And I said, no, I said, you can have them. Oh, no, no, we want to buy. Wait, I said, would, would you uh, donate whoever much you want to cancer oh, me, nice, yeah, or nice, whatever yeah, cancer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they did. One lady actually said to me, I donate 25 euros. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And she yeah. actually told me it's a very sad story. Her mother was in, uh, this is true in COVID as well, actually. Mm. Her mom was in a home. She said she had Alzheimer's. Oh, God, that's not The poor woman, she was nearly crying. She kept saying, I'm afraid she'll forget me. Oh, God, I'm afraid yeah. there's many yeah. stories out there like that, yeah. but that just got to me. Oh, you know? yeah, exactly. God yeah. Lover, yeah. You know? yeah. Anyway, I'll read this one. Yeah. It's called Someone. Someone somewhere wants to care. Someone somewhere has love to share. Someone somewhere wants to reach out. Someone somewhere hesitates because of shyness, fear, and doubt. Oh, that's really good. Really <laughs> good. That's Very an old good. poem now. Yeah. I've been written that in the eighties, early nineties. Well, yeah. that's that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. really lovely. Yeah. yeah, I love the way they're nice and short and straight that's, to the point. That's yeah. Bit about yeah. the, well, as I said earlier about the, the poems that felt like letters. Mm, that yeah. That style developed out of that for some reason. So I went with it. Yeah, great yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. How many poems are in that book? How many? Uh, oh, there's there's be about um. It's just kind of like, as you see, it's, it's very small. Yeah. There's yeah. six, about 21, 25, yeah, roughly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great, when they're yeah. short, so you just, you'd read it in two minutes, I suppose. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And it's, Some it, people said it was handy to just stuff in your pocket. Great stuff, yeah. I love little, little books like that are brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and do you ever do any readings for, like, um, in yeah. libraries or anything like that? Have you, yeah, have I you used done that? to. 
I am yeah. doing any since after COVID. I'm okay. finding I was finding hard for us after COVID, I'd be honest, yeah, to get back yeah. into yeah. crowds, you mm -hmm. know. I've yeah. only recently stopped wearing the mask. Oh yeah, it's quite yeah. yellow. Unfortunately, I have diabetes <laughs> yeah. and that kind of okay. put fear in me. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. yes, I, I did I, as I said, I read for Sarah. Mm-hmm. In yeah. um, Seven Towers. Yeah. And she actually brought out anthologies which I got into as well. Yeah, quite stuff. Then I read for Michael Flanagan and uh, Liam O'Mara at the um, Ledgewood right. Memorial Day. Oh, and then yeah. Michael ran a poetry group, as we think about that small called Poetry Cell. So yeah. we a group was gather, I think, was every week or every month in um, Plenty of Hair on each co road. Okay, yeah. And yeah. We'd, we'd read there. So, yeah, what else did I do? Oh, I was also a member of an open mic group in the early 90s called Poets Anonymous. Okay. And yeah. which I'd read as well. It's been on the mm. team, as you call it. Yeah. yeah. The open yeah. mics are great, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good, yeah. I haven't yeah. been invited ever to read. So, there are any readings I've done have been open mics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, great stuff. And the, what, yeah. the last reading I've done actually was in a gallery mm. with another friend of mine. She uh, she got it was a uh, an artist called Susan Sweeney, mm -hmm. and she was running this prompt where she's give she sent you a picture, okay, yeah, and you'd write a haiku or send me to the picture. Oh, so I wrote yeah. a haiku. I, I got a picture of three <laughs> <Yeah>. cows, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I wrote. I was remember my time when I used to go to cabin, mm. and uh, you know the way the cows would stand at the gate just before yeah. milking time, and I, yeah, yeah. so I was remember that, and that would, the three cows reminded me of that. So, well, right. so Susan uh, was delighted with that. She put it, she uh, put it underneath uh, every every photograph was framed, and your your haiku was underneath each photograph. Then mm. she had a lovely night. I can't remember the gallery, and myself and two of my friends went. And I read, and if everyone who wanted to read could read, mm -hmm. but I didn't yeah. realize at the time that would be the last reading I'd, I'd I do. Know, yeah. You know? Yeah. But I enjoyed it, it was a great night. Oh, and yeah. haiku wasn't something that would have read that much at the time, you know, mm -hmm. the most yeah. poetry. I know haiku is poetry, but when I say poetry, I mean the longer. Yeah, but, that's yeah. tough. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. And uh, can I just ask you, um, kind of what uh, authors or what uh, books uh, most? kind of inspired you to which which your poetry do you have any that kind of started, maybe what ones would stand out that you can think of for anyway? I when I started off writing I wouldn't I didn't read much poetry at all okay. at the I time. Poetry. I was more into Mills and Boone and I love um the Jane Eyre, Charlotte Bronte mm -hmm. and um all the, all those artists, you know, Katy Kelly, mm -hmm. Kate Boothfire, which was Kate um was it? Oh, I forgot to know the name. Sorry. I, I, no, I thought it was funny. And Kay and all the, all the Irish artists. I love reading all their books. I made yeah. Binchy and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I would go to, I went to an awful lot of reads before COVID, you know, maybe two or three a week. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in one, two or three in one week, I should yeah. say, every week, wherever yeah. you'd be on, I'd go, Poetry Ireland. And uh, at the time, there used to be readings in, uh, you know, The Widest Stair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was, yeah. I, that was my, as my mum at the time said, that's your second home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she never got to see. <laughs> so uh, I love listening. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, then I started to read a bit poetry. And now I read, uh, I'm actually catching up on all the books that I bought that I didn't read, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Great stuff, I actually, yeah. I love the library. I, was great. I actually stopped going to the library mm -hmm. and I because I, I had so much bought books, I had the space. Yeah, I ended up yeah. moving into an apartment yeah. and I thought, oh no, you know, I have to. Mm, yeah. I just started to come. So I read, I, I kept reading the poetry books and I, sometimes, yeah, they would inspire me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they would kick good. something. Mostly yeah. what happens, I think, is they kick off a memory in me. Yeah, okay. I need something yeah. to prompt me sometimes to, to remember something, mm. and that that would do the job. <laughs> great, Bernie, that yeah, great stuff. And come here, how do you do the blog? Do you kind of when you when you have a poem, do you just pull it up there, or what way just, do you do it? Sorry, just um, how can I explain it? You get you download uh, WordPress, yeah, okay. and then you have a password and all that. Yeah, yeah. you just follow the prompts. It's yeah. quite simple, but it has to be simpler. I wouldn't have been able to get in. <laughs> yeah, put it yeah. that way i've been honest like yourself you know yeah. i could do basic <laughs> yeah. stuff but i'm not a techno a technical but, wizard or anything like that yeah. so what you do is then you get you get um a username which mine is about catalyst okay yeah. and 
they 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 set up your page put it that way mm -hmm. set up a page and then you get into other blogs and your blog then your blog your blog will come up by catalyst so you click onto the catalyst yeah. and then you see all the if you've already if you're starting off for your pages will be, be empty obviously so yeah. then you click onto what a symbol saying right mm -hmm. so then yeah. you just type your poem in okay. and then yeah. it says publish Right. Or do you yeah. want to schedule yeah. it to publish? Oh yeah, and yeah. later on maybe, and yeah. then come so uh, what I mean, sorry, what I mean is, like, yeah, would you would you put one in, like, you know, every time you write a poem, would you put one, put it up a new poem, or, or what, yeah. sorry, I would, Mark. I've been, yeah. I've been, uh, I mostly put up a poem every, yeah, I would put a poem every day, but now they wouldn't right. all be new because yeah. don't forget, I'm writing since the eighties, yeah. so yeah. I have a, a huge <laughs> <Exactly>. backlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not all good, but you know, yeah. I what I go by is like if, if I get a good few likes, I say, well, that's all good. Great stuff, you know, yeah. It's yeah. not. I say, well. <laughs> That's not so good. <laughs> yeah. but, but isn't it true? Like the more you do, the you're gonna get some really good stuff. The more you put out there, like well, like I, say, anything, I have it? a saying. Yeah. That yeah. you know, to get to the good stuff, you have to get to, you have to do the bad stuff. Yeah, first. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's just different it's taste. Sustained. There's no sustained. You know, yeah. it's yeah. Everybody, yeah. like you know, you could write a song or write a yeah. story or anything yeah. like that. You kind of have an audience somewhere that would like it. You know, it's, it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. true. I mean, yeah. I mean, our world is changing so much that there's so many diverse tastes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but you yeah. just have to. Keep going yeah. and get your writing out there as much as you can, I suppose, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely. And then, I suppose that was a good one good if you can call it a good thing that came out of the COVID situation with the ink slingers, you have people all over the world now. It's uh, that's I, yeah. I said to you, I'm not on Zoom and I need to learn to use, I suppose. But yeah. that was the one great thing. It kept everyone together and then it introduced us to American writers. Yeah. All yeah. Not just America, but all over the world, you know, from yeah. the same as yeah. you said. Yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. good that way on the story. It's like you hear yeah. the walk like yeah. from the Zoomers as we call them every Saturday. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. It's, yeah, it's and it's great. great to hear their take on the prompt. Yeah, for exactly. Yeah, yeah it is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. So it just connect people all over the world, you're right. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and do, do you have a favourite kind of music? What what's favourite kind of music do you like? Is it oh. your, your second <laughs> thing, your well, music? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mostly Irish artists like yeah, Red yeah. Rory, Tiki Rock, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I do yeah. like him. I like a very mixed. Mm. Yeah, like I like good few artists, you know, like yeah. um, David Soul. He's not, I know he's not known for singing, mm. but I have a couple of, I download, I'm on iTunes, so okay. I downloaded loads of his albums, which you wouldn't get in the shops. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. great, yeah. You know, yeah. stuff like that, and now I'm a songs from the 80s, and yeah, which right. quite, you know, quite, I'm not into, yeah. I, I do have a, a good, you know, wide range of taste, but I'm not into today's music, because I, I feel I'm getting old now, when I say <laughs> that they seem to me to be shouting. <laughs> yeah. <No>? Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. We're not yeah. getting problems with my ears lately, so <laughs> I can't hear them too well sometimes, you know. Oh, no. But uh yes. yeah. no, no, and come here, do you ever um what I've started doing over the last while is listen to music while I write, um not with lyrics in it, but maybe some, you know, some uh you know music without lyrics, you know, like have you ever oh. Yeah. That yourself. Well, I, I write been quite now when I first started off writing, I was living at home with the family. Yeah. And yeah. you know, a bit as busy as any family house would be with coming yeah. and going. And my mom was a great radio listener. She'd have the radio on from half seven or seven yeah. in the morning and it'd be on all day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I would sit on the sofa at that time and I just write. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. my yeah. brother, he's sorry, just so much. Oh no, no, sorry, for saying he's sorry for the delay there because he he was in here before we did the interview. So he's sorry for the delay. Oh, right, that was, <laughs> no, it's I gone. hope I'm not talking too much. No, we're gone. <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> so my brother um, was a script writer. Yeah. And yeah. he'd have to go into the parlor, or what most people call the front room, he called it a parlor. Yeah. And he'd have to go in there for the quietness. Yeah, yeah. But I never minded the noise. And I still don't, though I don't consciously put on music or anything when I'm writing at home. Okay. But yeah, yeah I can I can work in noise if I want to. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. what I found, Bernadette, is when I'm uh, listening to like background music, 
I find you getting a kind of a flow. I don't know what it is. It's just maybe, but it's different, you know, like you kind of get the get flow. It helps yeah. You. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. I do. I love um, Leary Cafe M in the morning at breakfast, Matthew oh, yeah. Reading. Oh, yeah. For and then good, lunchtime. Yeah. Just, I, I might be able to name all the pieces that mm, they play, yeah. but I love, I love them. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're nice. lovely. But yeah. no, I... I I got into the habit of the quietness when I'm writing. Yeah, great. Right, yeah. yeah, and kind of could I ask as well, Bernadette. Do you have a kind of a strategy you use when you're writing? Do you would you just say you're writing a long poem? Would you write a, a certain amount of words a day or or anything like that? Or, or is that something you do? I suppose it doesn't work really with poetry, does it? Like you're sunny. Well, it would work. I suppose if you wrote really long poems. Yeah. The more the way I wrote since I started and still do, I write in my head. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then when I feel it's ready, I put it on paper. Stuff, but the funny yeah. thing is, once I put it on paper, mm. I forget the poem. I don't memorise it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to read it from the phone or oh, yeah, type great. written paper. Yeah. So you create it in your mind and then just take yeah. it out of your mind and put it in the paper. <laughs> great stuff. The description, yeah. yeah. I know it sounds weird. But that's great, yeah. I can't explain why I do no, that. That's brilliant, yeah. It's the way that it works for me. Yeah, great yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it works. That's... Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but everyone has everyone has what, what works for them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff, if my yeah. younger brother, he'd walk through the night, mm -hmm. right, and rather yeah. than in the day because he found the house, you know, too noisy for him to, to yeah. walk. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I have a lot of different authors in the podcast, and you know, the different type of strategies everybody has, like everybody's, everybody's that's what the beauty yeah, of it, isn't it, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I was a member years ago of uh, what you call Haiku Ireland. Okay. And we yeah. used to have what you call ginkgos, which are walks. Yeah, and yeah, go, you know, ones, yeah. what I call out of the way place, but people are so good with organizing lifts and stuff. But yeah. I, you know, you, you'd be writing, you'd be observing different things as you walked, and yeah. you'd compose, say, a haiku or a center in your head, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I found yeah. that, yeah, I found that very good. Yeah. Now, there was times when you would struggle. Don't be, I remember we done uh, the ginkgo on the docks. Okay, yeah. Now yeah. it was real handy to get, I was delighted with that idea. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> there wasn't there wasn't much in from it, but it wasn't much inspiration for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know that yeah. And you I mean it, last year I went to Botanic Gardens with um my mentor. Oh that's lovely. Yeah. And again I struggled okay, yeah, yeah. to again possibly because it was a uh, haiku based and I'm more scenery. Mm -hmm. I struggle yeah. to write. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my mentor was great. She said, she, I did send her one poem about a uh, plant we seen, miniature plant. Mm. And she said to me, You're not quite there yet. She said, Work on it. Okay, you know? yeah. And I did. And what I came up with, it's never been published, but she liked it. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great to get yeah. that the yeah. feedback, yeah. is great, as I yeah. said earlier on. I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah. I'd love to have yeah. more. Um, Affinity in age, but unfortunately, I don't. Yeah, well, that's the way it is, isn't yeah, it? Really? Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah. but like, what 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 kind of scenes or where you go, um, kind of give you the most inspiration? Is probably the, where where did you find where you've been? Like, would it be just the countryside or what? Yeah. Well, I I after my dad died, I rested. We stopped going to Cameron because he he used to drive us, so yeah. I don't get to the country very often, except maybe if you're going a day tour or that. Yeah. So mo most stuff would be now uh, about people, you know, when you're yeah, yeah. Uh, say it's 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 funny, you know, someone might make a a gesture, something that would catch my attention. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe a look, or very something good. might say, or. Something about someone might, you know, yeah. oh, register yeah. with me, and that would produce uh, oh, a haiku. Yeah, yeah. 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 I actually, that, if you, I can read a short, it's very oh, short. Oh, yeah, great stuff, yeah. Um, Brilliant, thank you. It happened actually la last Friday morning. Um, I'm also a member of um, the Legion of Mary. Okay, yeah. yeah. And um, we uh, were standing outside the church. Oh, here she is. And what we do is we distribute miraculous medals. Okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway, miraculous. On a misty Friday morning, standing outside the church, I offer a passerby a miraculous medal. He accepts, opens his arms for a hug. And that inspired. Yeah, that, oh, oh, well, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. It's just yeah. to illustrate how I, yeah. Uh, how it happens for you, yeah. Great stuff, yeah. yeah Brilliant, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing yeah. that. That's great. Yeah, I, I don't... The poaches are absolutely lovely. Like they're really, really enjoying them. Thank you. No, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, really it, that was just you no. Know, that hasn't been walked on. I just wrote it. Yeah. But I suppose if I did want to get a pub, which I would need to. Yeah, working a bit more. But I, that's great. Yeah, and yeah, the, you yeah. say you look your second is music. Do you do you write music or do you, oh, do you write no. songs or anything like that? No, no. no. I just enjoy. Just enjoy. It, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 Actually, no, no one in my family is musical really. So my mum and dad were great singers. Yeah, which yeah, I yeah. haven't got. Yeah. But uh, I don't know about my siblings. I never heard them sing. Actually, you know, yeah. I would sing around the house at the time. But and my dad would encourage me to sing. You know, but mm -hmm. I, I just, I suppose when I was a school or singing teacher, she said to me, um, "Mime, <laughs> not yeah. to sing." Okay. So, that, so I wouldn't sing a public after that. Oh, okay. She put, oh, she kind of yeah. put that in your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I know. I know myself. I will, I'm not me. I'm not. I'm yeah. got a good yeah, yeah. voice, you know. Oh, well, yeah. And what's your favorite? Do you like movies? What films are your favorite? Oh. I think it's supposed to romantic movies and yeah. co some comedies. Mm -hmm. So yeah. co comedies, comedies that, great, yeah. again, yeah. it will be comedies like, you know, the, the old comedies more than the new ones because I, I don't like comedies that get that get at people or make fun of people. No, no. I do no. not like that. But again, funny gestures. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Or, or one-liners. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. that kind of comedies like that, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. shows like Father Ted were great, weren't they? <laughs> uh, yeah, he was. <laughs> he could be so disgusted at times, but I know. I remember yeah. there was one with Brendan Grace. Oh, he was very. That oh, that was so funny. Uh, that the, one, God, that his, was his kind of comedy. I, I remember going to see he was Brendan, Brendan Grace in front yeah. of Castle. Yeah, yeah. He's just, yeah, a mom. Yeah. That's the kind of comedy, yeah. you know, fully filled. But yeah. no, I, I don't like anyone that gets that. No, no, no. Yeah. Taste, bad taste kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one comedy. I won't name the man. <laughs> it was in my local GAA uh, okay. hall. Yeah. And he, he put two things that put me out. First of all, he opened this bottle of water and I got drenched. Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> it happened to be in the front seat. Oh, no. Just two That's the now, worst place to sit when you're in a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm mostly sitting in front wherever I go so I can see you know, yeah, because you're yeah. in his head. And anyway, he, he, he just opened, he didn't mean it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But just when he opened the bottle, and, <laughs> and then the second thing was he brought mice out onto the stage. Oh, my God. You know, the thing about that was that most of the women, most of the people in the hall were women. Okay, yeah. And I yeah. mean, most women would be a little bit, would be scared of mice. And who does that if he knows the odds is going to be on? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> to my mind, it didn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense, no, no. Yeah. But I get what you say, Brandon Grace was very funny, wasn't he? Oh, oh, yeah. And a lovely, lovely man. Yeah, I was a privilege yeah. of meeting him afterwards. Yeah, and, yeah, it was uh, great. Yeah, yeah, great stuff, yeah. yeah. He was really lovely, yeah. 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 So, yeah. what's next for yourself, Bernadette? Have you, uh, what's what, what have you got next? Um, yeah, yeah. I said, I'm hoping to get a collection, yeah, working great on stuff, a collection yeah. at the moment. Hopefully, it'll bear yeah. fruit, you know. Mm -hmm. No, you, you obviously. You can only hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, the best yeah, look. And yeah. make sure you, you send me all that you want me to share on the, the notes, like your you know, your links and all that for people oh, to, to contact you for that, yeah, for your writing yeah, notes. Yeah. It's, it's been great talking to you. Thanks a lot for coming on. Good times for it. Yeah. Me and your poetry. Do you want to read one more before we go? Maybe uh if you could maybe read one of one one more of your poems for people to one of to, one more of your po poetry, one another one of your poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, innocence. It's a, right. This is a very short one, actually. Brilliant, yeah. Thank you. But it, again, rarely do things, public things get me, but this did. Right, yeah. Innocence. Education is changing in our schools. The innocence of, child, of childhood is being blown away, like the head of a dandelion. Sex education for 11-year-olds or younger turning childhood into mini adulthood yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah. <laughs> yeah. i just i just yeah. had to write about it. again it probably needs to work but it's just yeah it just got to me when yeah. i heard definitely yeah yeah, yeah no yeah, yeah. A lot of realism in your poetry as well, like you know what's going on in the. Yeah, which normally yeah. I wouldn't do. It really has to get me to write. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the war yeah, defense. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I suppose I do write an awful lot of personal stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, Great yeah. Stuff. No, I just 
thanks a million for sharing all You're that. Welcome, it's been, been great. Thanks for um, this to me. Can I just ask you one more thing before you go? If you could give anybody the listeners um from all your worldly experience um in <laughs> writing and, and poetry, yeah. um well it's just in a in a short sentence, what would you say to them for keeping themselves motivated in what they do with their writing, please? I suppose if you have a dream, follow it and keep working on your poetry. I have a friend and she's achieving amazing stuff lately because she's worked yeah. and worked and worked on her poetry. Edit, 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 as workshops would say. Yeah, that's great advice. Yeah, thanks very much. Because it, like as a first time author myself, I've, I've published my first book there um, during COVID, uh, The Adventures of Larry Lamphouse and Friends, the children's book. And oh, right. uh, But like when I started first, do you think like, I always made up stories for the kids going to bed at night. That's where I got the no. stories from, you know. And um, then my son said, "Why don't you ever put them in a book?" And I then did, and then I, 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 I joined, I joined the Inkslingers, and got it. You know, you never taught yourself as a writer, but then mm-hmm. as because you, when you weren't very good at school, you you were you, you held yourself back, like you know. So right. it's a good message for people that are listening and watching on YouTube yeah. that don't follow your dream, like, and you'll you'll get yeah. there. You know, just yeah. keep yeah. keep going, yeah. keep, keep going. Keep yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I went My to... friend, it took her five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. to get a book together because she kept editing, editing, editing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I went into a school there last week, my son's school, um, junior infants. I, I yeah. read a story out of the book and yeah. it was great for them, you know, the, the fun. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's the, tough ima- the, the imagination is great, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I have to say, kids are so open to imagination. Yeah, it's just yeah. lovely. Just, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think we lose a little bit of that imagination as we get older, but you know kids are so they soak her up like a sponge definitely yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. now I'm looking forward to maybe going to one of your live readings there when, oh. when you do it next yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Please start, yeah. So, so listen thanks everybody for listening to and um, watching on youtube mark's motivational podcast a live interview with um bernardo o'reilly it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you bernardo thanks so thanks much too, and i wish you all the best and um, whatever you do thanks mark i appreciate right. that so Thank join you. us again next time for mark's motivational podcast thanks for listening and take care. Good night. Hello, everyone. Mark here. Thank you for watching another episode of my Authors Tuesday podcast. I recently published a book of children's stories called The Adventures of Larry Lampos and Friends. The book began life as bedtime stories I wrote for my own children. If you'd like to purchase my book, follow the link in the description box below. By buying my book, you are also supporting my podcast series for authors which is giving a voice to writers in Ireland and across the world.